This book is Sounds All Around, written by Wendy Pfeffer, illustrated by Anna Chernyshova. Snap your fingers, clap your hands, whistle, clatter some pans. You are making sounds. Crinkle crunch through dry leaves, splish splash in a puddle. Make happy sounds, sad sounds, scary sounds, and mad sounds. Shake a can of marbles, rattle, 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 rattle. Shake a bag of cheese puffs, pluff, pluff, pluff. Shake a can of pencils, clank, clank, clank. Your sounds fill the air. Can you make more sounds? Woof. Sing la 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 la, talk 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 or hum. <laughs> These sounds all come out of your mouth, but they start in your throat. So the picture of the vocal cords, that especially let's look at the thing called the larynx. That's also called your voice box. Put your hands on your throat and then sing, talk, or hum. Your fingertips will tingle because your vocal cords shake to make sounds. Your vocal cords shake back and forth very fast. This is called vibrating, and that makes the air around them vibrate. These vibrations move through the air in waves called sound waves. Now be quiet. Feel your throat. Your vocal cords are still. They're not vibrating, so there's no sound. This shows you a picture of the inside of your ear. It says, you can't see sound waves, but when they reach your ear, tiny bones in your ear vibrate. Then you hear the sound. Beating a drum makes it vibrate, and then the air around it vibrates. These vibrations ripple through the air. They travel from the drum to your ears, and you hear the sound of the drum. Long ago, people used drum sounds to sound messages. They beat high sounds, low sounds, fast sounds, and slow sounds. These sounds traveled through the air from village to village. Different drum beats sent different messages, such as rain clouds are forming, or a new leader has been chosen. People still use sounds to send messages. Clapping hands says, good job. A knock on the door asks, is anyone home? And a siren on a fire truck, woo, 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 means get out of the way. Animals use sounds to send messages too. A hen clucks to call her chicks. Bawk, 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 bawk. A ruffed grouse makes a drumming sound with his wings to attract a mate. And a howler monkey roars to keep other howlers out of his territory. A howler's roar is one of the loudest animal sounds in the world. No wonder other howlers stay away. In the dark, a bat avoids an object in its flight path by making high squeaking sounds. Its sound waves hit the barn. The sound bounces back. These echoes warn the bat to change direction before it bumps into the barn. A bat finds food using echoes too. Sound waves bounce off insects. In total darkness, a bat can locate 600 insects an hour by listening for the echoes. This is called echo location. Sound waves travel through solid ground as well as air. A snake has no ears. To hear, the snake puts its head on the ground. A bone in its head feels the sound vibrations. They warn the snake that an enemy, maybe a mongoose, lurks nearby. Sound waves travel through water too. A mother whale can find her baby by sending clicking sounds through the water. When the sound waves bump into her calf, echoes bounce back. The mother whale listens. She hears the echoes and knows where her baby is. Whales and dolphins locate objects by sending sounds through the water, then listening for echoes. People use a device called sonar to send sounds in water. When the echoes bounce back, people know how deep the water is. They also discover where submarines, shipwrecks, and schools of fish are. Sounds are an important part of our lives. Some sounds, like music, please us. Some sounds, like a jackhammer, annoy us.
Some sounds are quiet. Some are loud. How can you measure sounds? How much you weigh is measured in pounds. How tall you stand is measured in inches. How loud you yell is measured in decibels. When you whisper, whispering measures only about 30 decibels. Talk, talking measures about 60 decibels. Or if you yell, a loud yell measures about 85 decibels. Rustling leaves measure 20 decibels, a vacuum cleaner 70, that jackhammer is 130, a space rocket is very loud. It measures 200 or more decibels. Some loud sounds can really damage your ears, so you should be careful about protecting your ears around loud noises. Luckily, there are many ways to protect your ears, like covering your ears when a fire truck or ambulance drives by, or making sure you don't play your music too loudly. People who work close to airplanes or use jackhammers have to be even more careful about protecting their hearing. We live in a world of sounds. Telephones ring, thunder rumbles, water gurgles, birds chirp, bees buzz, friends talk, and we laugh, cry, hiccup, and sigh. Sounds are all around. Keep listening. You can do some experiments today. You can try listening to sounds around you. Listen in the house. Do you hear a clock ticking, the television blaring, or someone laughing? What else do you hear? Listen on the front steps. Do you hear a dog barking, a ball bouncing, or a horn honking? What else do you hear? What could you hear on a farm or during a storm? In the forest, near the ocean, by a brook, at the zoo, in the supermarket? Try listening in all those places. Listen to sound travel through water. In the bathtub, keep your ears above the water and ask an adult to knock on the side of the tub below the water level. Can you hear the knocking sound? Now lie on your back with your ears under the water. Ask an adult to knock again. Can you hear the sound travel through water? Which knocking sounded louder? That's the end of our book today. I hope you enjoyed it.